Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl Rocky, your revolutionary hippie from Life is Rocky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and help me get monetized. So today on my Becoming a Feminine Woman series, this is kind of a follow-up to the Black women are selfish and gold diggers. Yeah. So back to the question of what do you bring to the table? So let me just... I have a question, please answer in the comments below. So modern women are saying that they want a man to take care of them financially. Okay. And even though they work, they do not want to contribute that money to the family, to their relationship. Okay. All right, so you don't, don't bring money, right? And then you don't cook, you don't clean, and you don't want to stay home with the kids. So uh, the reason these men are asking this question is because women are not answering it. And you can't be the table because the table if you were sitting aside your emotions to even understand is the relationship and you can't bring the relationship to the relationship because it takes at least two to be in that relationship okay so that being said you yeah you really gotta huh, sit with yourself and understand that you don't want a partner you don't want a teammate. Like you just want a sugar daddy. That's it. You want to be a trophy wife of a sugar daddy. You do want good dick. That's what you do want. But yeah, that's 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 the relationship. Um, and again, why would men choose that? Why would men choose that? And it's going to the 50-50 side. One, I think instead of just saying it needs to be equal as far as the roles, I think you need to look at the equal effort that you're putting into your relationship and understanding the individual strengths for your personalized relationship and seeing what works, right? My man and I, we both cook. My man and I, we both uh, work. My man and I are gonna take care of the kids. However, I am going to be more of the primary when they're young, just because I have experience and background and knowledge around that. Whereas his mentorship and leadership is going to come in in their adolescence, right? He's gonna be around, he's gonna be helping, but there's definitely going to be some shifts of energy. It's not going to be equal as far as raising children, just because of where our strengths are, right? And then, with cleaning, I definitely, definitely am stronger, for sure, definitely. Um, to which, that's where I need help with my other partner. I'm polyamorous and bisexual, so, like, I need a woman who can clean. And that's what she likes to do for her house, you know? Because I don't have, like, I can't do it for him, for me, and for the kids. It's just too much on me. Like, I'm already working, I'm already cooking, and I'm already taking care of the kids kids like those are four different jobs like yeah one of them I just I'm cool right now on cleaning just because the kids aren't here but when they are here it's a wrap so hired help another partner or he steps up which I'm betting on the first two so <laughs> that being said um yeah like what value are you adding to the relationship and if you say it's just me well then who the fuck are you like you really have to to sit with yourself and reflect on that who are you as a person who are you as a partner what are qualities that other people appreciate about you and i can help you find this in either my womanhood coaching or building esteem as well as my self-actualization need Manifest Realities Happiness Coaching. Link in the description box below. <laughs> but yeah. So, um... 
like and and also think about it in the sense of if you're not cooking that's not the best version of yourself because cooking is well even if it's like hello fresh you know where the ingredients are sent to you you pick the recipes and you're literally just cooking it that's still cooking and it's studies have shown home cooked meals are better than going out to eat okay so yeah like i'm concerned about your health and then if you're not cleaning sure if you're hiring a maid i would love to have that but um but that's your money so why should he pay for something that you already pay for i'm just let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I'm confused. Please help me understand what value you're adding to the relationship. Because your personality, I'm seeing the personality of women with this mentality all across the internet and it fucking disgusts me. I would never date a woman like you because one, our values are not the same. You value money, I don't. I value relationships. Money is a piece of paper that man gave meaning. It doesn't mean anything. I never valued brands. They don't mean anything. So we have different values, right? And then two, you don't care about the person. And I said this in the last video. You don't care about the individual person, who they are, what they need. All you care about is what you get out of it. And that sounds shitty to me. I'm just saying, what do you bring? to the relationship because yourself is not an answer unless you list character traits <laughs> right as far as you personally but also how you are as a partner what are your relationship qualities do you actively listen do you respect his boundaries do you regulate your emotions and then healthily express emotions are you effectively communicating and letting go of that mind reading bullshit? Like, these are my questions. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> and don't forget to share. <laughs> you know you want to. And subscribe. Have a beautiful day.